Thank you, Chairwoman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I want to talk about a few different areas of spending. Uh, my colleague just brought up the Global Engagement Center. Now, whether we're talking about GEC or state officially or USAID or US Agency for Global Media, the fact of the matter is you guys put out solicitations, grants, sub-grants to the agencies that are to the entities that get grants, uh, NGOs, you name it, dollars spread across the globe. And, and this is the statement of what I believe should be a statement of policy bipartisanly uh, between Republicans, Democrats in the House, those in the Senate. Until state, USAID, all those agencies start giving us notice of every one of those grants, sub-grants, solicitations, start giving us notice of every single one of them, we should not be giving you one more dollar. And I think the proof for why that is the case is in how in far too many circumstances, you all really have no idea where the money is going. And I'm not saying it's easy to figure out where it's going in every circumstance, but that can't be the situation. And I'm gonna reference a few different places. Uh, you have Naz sitting behind you here. We had a hearing for a couple hours here in this very room where we discussed uh, just a half, million, a half million dollar grant to expand atheism in Nepal. It was denied for a couple hours until we held up the actual solicitation for the grant. And then of course it was acknowledged that it did actually take place. And then we got a call a couple weeks later saying, oh, and by the way, the agency that we gave it to, they didn't even give us all of the information on it in the slides. It's just one example, I'm not gonna hash it all out but it's one example of you all didn't know where the money that you sent out there from the U.S. taxpayer was going. I was reading over the last 24 hours the, the special in investigation into Afghanistan reconstruction, the CIGAR report, and looking at the amount of money that has gone directly to the Taliban. It's not, a, it's not a mystery, it's not something to argue about. It is a fact, money going directly to the Taliban that's gone out through all of these agencies that state works with, and specifically 144 partners were referenced in this CIGAR report. And when it talks about it, it talks about the 144 partners and the questions that they were asked, but of those partners, only 65 of them actually chose to answer to the Inspector General about where the dollars were going. The other 79 didn't even feel like they had to answer questions about where the US taxpayer dollars were being spent. We saw it from the Pentagon just in uh, the last day that uh, on this massive pier that was built, that was worked on by you all, that none of the aid has yet made it to the, to the people of Gaza yet. It's sitting in warehouses and other places. And again, it's just to the point that there is not nearly enough accountability, and we should be receiving every grant, every subgrant, every awardee, every solicitation that should be sent through this body for review, whether in a classified or unclassified setting. Now, I do have a couple of questions on that. I spoke about the, the 79 grantees in part mm -hmm. that did not respond to the CIGAR report, and I have a question about them. Uh, since that time, have you frozen any of the bank accounts of those 79 entities? Um, Congressman, we've looked uh, very hard at the, uh, the CIGAR report. I think it's important to note that money does not go directly to the Taliban. It goes to the UN, NGOs. We've dedicated about $2 billion. So the no, people no. in Afghanistan- you're, Now you're literally telling lies to the American people. Mm -hmm. these, these state dollars went directly to, sure. uh, to those that were solicited to do it, these uh, implementing partners, as it's referred to, and they paid directly money to, money to the Taliban. Sometimes they labeled it taxes. Sometimes they labeled it value-added taxes. Sometimes they labeled it a host of different things. But do not pretend that money did not go directly sure. to the Taliban. It, it did not go directly to the Taliban. Let me, again, if you'll give me one chance to just uh, uh, lay this out very quickly. No. It went, it, well, okay. I mean, I'm because going to answer questions. If anybody can go out there and read the CIGAR report. I, I invite them to do that. So $2 billion I invite them dedicated to, do that. to helping a, the Afghan people. Ten million. The, the answer is no. Not looking to have uh, you were, filibuster the time for this. I do have some more questions. Uh, have you frozen any of the bank accounts of the 79 entities that just chose to say, piss off America, we don't feel like answering your questions about what we've we just got the money. report and we'll work on any consequences that need to follow from it. So no though, but that's the answer, nothing frozen yet. Uh, any shuttered offices or deregistration from lists of Again, partners that you would work Again, I think this report came forward with. just a few days ago. We were obviously work, looking at it, working at it, and we'll see what steps need to be taken. 
Good. Uh, to deal with it. Do look at that and do work on that. One other question here, uh, and I will read a statement here. Uh, from the CGAR, they, they did ask this question to affirm the accuracy and completeness of the responses provided. They requested that state attest to the questionnaire that it was distributed to all uh, implementing partners, that responses were not altered, and attempts were not made to influence the implementing partners, and state refused to answer if that was the case. Would you answer that? Uh, I'm certainly not aware of that. I'm happy to look into it. Thank you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.